Hey, you guys, this is Tracy. Just wanted to come to you a few minutes here with something that just happened to me that I just want to share. Uh, I went to Austin to get my hair done, and my hairdresser um, just out of the blue shared something that just grabbed me that I knew that I needed to hurry up and come and, and just do a quick video because it was fitting. Uh, this month's focus has been finances, faith in finances and from blessed to broke. And so we were sitting there and I think I was posting pictures of Boogie, which is my granddaughter, Quinn. And he was just admiring her and he says, you know what, my dad loved kids. And when he said the word loved, I knew that meant that his dad had passed away. And he says, man, he was just a magnet to kids, Tracy. Oh my God, they loved him because he had a calm spirit. And he was just that personality where he just knew how to get him to laugh and he knew how to get him to giggle and they just wanted to be around him and he just received them, Tracy. And I said, what a beautiful thing, Danny. And then he looked at me and he says, you know, my dad wasn't a man who said much. He wasn't one who ever really argued or ever yelled. But I remember my dad was serious about one thing, Tracy, and that was finances. And boy, let me tell you, my head turned around because of our focus this month that I'm like, really? And he says, yeah, he goes, matter of fact, he goes, we were very poor. We didn't have a lot of money. He goes, matter of fact, I remember that um, my dad didn't make any more than $25,000 in a year. And when he said that to me, it hit me because I know so many of us think, well, that's not a lot of money. But to this family, that was everything every dollar mattered to them and he says and i remember how our months were he was big on making sure that we kids understood the value of money and the importance of being a good steward over it that every month at the end of the month either the last day or he says by the first day of the next month after we got done with dinner we'd all sit down and dad would lay out a sheet of all the bills that were due coming up in the next month and then he would lay out a sheet of what his income was and we would go down each one and he would say, okay, which one do you think is the most important to pay this month? And of course he says, all of us were like, well, rent, because we need a place to sleep. And they went down every single thing. And as they started to uncover the bills, he says, I remember that month that we realized that there was not gonna be enough money to pay the utility bill. And so instead of my dad being heavy hearted or having a bad attitude, because that was not the spirit of my dad, he looked at all of us, looked at my mom and said, then how are we going to, as a family, make up that difference because we're short? And he says, Tracy, and I felt in all me, and I think there were three kids, we felt this calling, like something within us that all of a sudden that we needed to help mom and dad. We felt this calling like a charge to, we were gonna do it for mom and dad. We were gonna be the difference. He goes, so I remember that we did things like Tracy lemonade stands. We would do yard work and clean houses for money. We would even take those bottles that you get of your favorite soft drink and go back and turn it in to the gas station to get coins as a way of saving up. And he goes, and then I remember how we all felt as kids every time we'd come back with money, hey dad, here's five bucks. Or hey dad, here's 10 bucks. And he would say, put it in the jar. And how excited we were to shove that money in the jar or to put those coins in a jar because we felt like we had accomplished something. And he says, and I remember vividly the day when we came together again at the end of that month. On the first of that month, and we sat down, we were all excited to see, did we get to pay the bills and will the lights be on next month? And when he laid out everything that had been paid and he saw that, yes, the utility bills had been paid because dad looked at him and said, yes, the utility bills are paid and we will have lights for another 30 days. He says, the feeling of excitement, the feeling of accomplishment, the feeling of helping, the feeling of I did something has just rung with me forever that now today, that is even how I manage my money 30 years later. And it was just powerful, which is why in our message that we did this month, you guys, the importance of teaching our kids now at a young age, I think he said he was only like nine and his dad was teaching him the value of money and the importance of money and getting them to understand it and hard work towards something. And he says, and now I know that if I don't have it, I don't spend it, but if I want it, I gotta go work for it. So with that, you guys, I hope that story touched you because it touched me that I had to hurry up and get in the car and come and record this video on such a fitting weekend as we close out our month of faith and finances from broke to bless. And as we get ready to celebrate the rise of our King for Easter. With that, you guys have a blessed weekend and I will be talking to you soon.